Hi everybody, we're gonna talk about what Lyme disease is, how I got Lyme disease, and what some of my biggest symptoms are. Firstly, it is not called Lyme's disease. That's something that I am um, pretty passionate about. That is incorrect term because Lyme disease was discovered in the town of Lyme, Connecticut. It's an actual place. So it's called Lyme disease. And Lyme disease is an infection. It's a bacterial infection caused by a bacteria that is spiral shaped, a spirochete. Because it is spiral shaped, it can drill and make its way through any place of your body. And yes, I'm talking bones as well. Did I just blow your mind? Did it hurt? Are you okay still? Yes, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> It's crazy. The bacteria loves to live in the places where your immune system can't reach very well. So your bones and your tissues, deep in your tissues and your organs like your stomach and your heart and your lungs and your brain and your spinal cord and your toes. Have I missed any? Yes, it loves to live everywhere. The place it doesn't like to live, the blood. So that's why testing and trying to get a positive Lyme test is so hard. Also because the Lyme bacteria is very intelligent. It's one of the most intelligent bacteria discovered thus far. So because of this, it actually suppresses your immune system. Not only is your immune system burdened by the Lyme bacteria and the other co-infections that come with it. Don't worry, we'll be talking about that in another video. I don't want to overwhelm you. Because it is not only burdened with those infections, it also is suppressed physically, turned off, hidden, and the bacteria says, it's okay. You don't have to worry about us. We're fine. So then your immune system is just like, it's just suppressed and it stops working very well. And it stops making antibodies, which are things to fight bacteria and to fight viruses. So in essence, the bacteria literally takes over your body, takes over your immune system and starts destroying cells and tissues and organs and it's awful. How do we treat Lyme disease? How do we get rid of the thing? Basically, let's just give you a short summary because that's not what this video is exactly about. But to give you a short summary of that, we have to be shoving antimicrobials down our throats as much as we can. Whether that be something natural like herbals or something like antibiotics. We have to kill these bad boys because our immune systems are so overwhelmed and so suppressed that we can't kill them in and of ourselves. We need an external force that is going to help destroy and bring the count of bacteria way down. There is no cure for Lyme disease. We can go into remission, but we can never get rid of every single bacteria. What we can do is we can get that so under control, get rid of so much of the bacteria. We can, we can grow our immune system, help it rejuvenate. And in that point, our immune system takes over and we are so much better. We go into remission. It's not so easy. It's really not always that easy, but there you go. A quick summary of Lyme disease. It's a bacterial infection that in, that infects every single part of your body causing a systemic illness, which means Every single part of your body, every organ, every system, everything is affected and the symptoms, crazy symptoms from all over your body start appearing and you think you're bonkers, but you're not. It's just this crazy bacteria that everyone is just like so happy about. Just kidding. How did I get infected with Lyme disease? I don't know. I truly don't know. I never saw a tick. I never saw a rash. 
Uh, but we went camping as a family. I have four other siblings. So we went camping as a family very often, especially growing up um, until I was probably in high school and everything just got so busy. We didn't go as many times a year. But we went to the East Coast, we went down South, we were all over Michigan and we played in our bare feet at home. You can get bit by a tick, you can get it through a mosquito, you can, you can get that in your backyard. So I very likely, however, got infected on one of those camping trips, which, you know what? It doesn't really matter where I got infected because I have Lyme disease. And at this point, I don't really care so much because I just know that I'm one of those people that didn't see a tick and didn't get a rash. And that happens to over 50% of Lyme patients, believe it or not, which is crazy. So I'm just one of those super special people that didn't see anything and don't know when I got it or where I got it. So that's super interesting, right? <laughs> As for my main symptoms, when I started seeing my Lyme disease specialist, my current specialist who I absolutely love in Washington DC in March of 2016, to be precise, I had a Word document single spaced symptoms, three pages long, but I do have symptoms that are massive and totally have taken over my life much more than others. I also have symptoms that have improved because I've spent many months treating and killing with microbial agents. We've chosen the antibiotic route as of right now and knocking that bacteria down. As I've gone through treatment, we've realized that I'm much sicker than we originally thought. I'm just one of those special people that's like in the 10% or the 5% and I'm like, why? I'm done with being special, folks, but it's okay. You know what? I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get healthy again. And I really am. So, biggest symptoms, severe weakness especially in my legs. I walk with a cane all the time. I use a wheelchair because I can't go long distances. I don't wheel myself, I have someone push me. And a long distance in my eyes is not nearly a long distance in your eyes likely. So a cane and a wheelchair for walking, severe fatigue, fatigue, is not even the right word for it. It's exhaustion, it's complete exhaustion in every single cell of my body. That's kind of just how I describe it because there's no there's no better way. It's it's just unrelenting. And there are days where it's worse and there are days where it's better. I also suffer with really bad headaches, mostly pressure headaches, a lot of inflammation, and those can be debilitating, absolutely debilitating. They can go for days and days and days on end. I have a headache every single day, but it's number on the one to 10 pain scale varies. And it's type of headache varies. So right now, my headache is not interfering with my life, but Five years ago, I probably would totally be overwhelmed by this headache. You kind of just build up an endurance. It's crazy. Another big symptom that I have is my asthma. I have severe asthma and just chronic coughing, really bad coughing. It's not just, <clears throat> but it's deep coughing from the bottom of my lungs all the way up. And it's been really bad this year. I'll have coughing attacks walking from my bed to the bathroom. Um, in treatment, I will be gagging. I'm coughing so hard and um, like tears are coming out of my eyes because so much pressure. It is rough. And there's times where I use my oxygen because my lungs are so weak. 
I've been to the ER multiple times because my lungs are so weak and I just cannot breathe and I need IV steroids. I do breathing treatments and nebulizing and all those things at home on my own. I have an IV medication that I do once a month, but my asthma is still bad. And a big reason of that is I have infections of the Lyme bacteria and their co-infections in my lungs. And it's just, it's messing everything up, clearly. So weakness, fatigue, headaches, lungs, GI tract right now, as of the past year, two years, three years, it's increasingly worsened to the point where I now have gastroparesis. I've been diagnosed with gastroparesis for over a year. I've had a feeding tube that goes into my small intestines for over a year. We tried this and we tried that and we couldn't get my feeding tube feeds high enough for my caloric intake. I am now seeing a specialist at the Cleveland Clinic because we discovered through a special testing they do there that the motility in my stomach is slow, obviously, but also my intestines, both small and large. Super fun. So I am now starting a medication for that and there's this whole complicated process. I've been learning a lot of patients during this time, so there's that. GI system is just a pretty big, it's holding me back right now from Lyme treatment. So it's a pretty big deal. Another one of my really big symptoms is pain. I have a lot of pain and it fluctuates. I'll, I'll have really bad days and better days. So I'm not constantly in horrible pain, but I constantly have pain. And I'll have flare ups out of the blue. I'll have a wrist that's just hurting so badly. Right now my wrists are actually really hurting. That's why I thought of that. Joint pain, muscle pain is a big symptom for me and it can really just knock me flat it can just become very debilitating for me. Another big issue that I have is my neurological system is just a mess. I take three seizure meds. I have had full body seizures. I have had other seizures. I have nerve pain. I have twitchiness and tingliness and all the things. It's under control now with my meds and with having no treatment. But once I get back in treatment, we will see how things go. My doctor is fantastic. They know exactly how to do these medications and balance them. And I have had full faith in them and they have helped me really make it through this time and keep my nervous system under control because things could have gotten really bad. Weakness, fatigue, headaches, lungs, GI system, pain, chronic pain, and nerve, nervous system craziness. Those are probably my biggest symptoms that I can think of off the top of my head. And they're all debilitating, every one of them. If my legs are feeling better and I feel like I can walk more, my lungs usually can't do it. If my lungs are feeling a little better, my legs usually can't do it. So it's just, frustrating but like I said I'm gonna do whatever it takes in order to get my health back because that's my goal and I truly believe that I can attain that so there you go that's an overview of Lyme disease how I got Lyme disease which I have no idea how I got it and my main symptoms that I deal with as of right now thanks for watching and I will see you all super soon bye